The first law of thermodynamics shows that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. The second law shows when energy transfers from one unit to the next, there is a decrease determined of effective energy because of transfer inefficiency. This process creates consistent disorder with particles over time, which is called entropy. Entropy always increases with time, leaving waste that is unusable in each conversion, where natural processes are irreversible. Think about energy being transferred to a battery. In this process, there will be heat that resonates off the device. And although energy will not be lost in this heating process, it will become unusable and even damaging to the environment. As this continues, the wear on the battery will continue, and so with the charger. Where did that energy go? Into the environment. See what's going on here? Consider the chain of providers to consumers that this must go through as well. This sounds like something that the power of evolution could easily solve, but let's continue this thought process. Now other than assuming that evolution is real, what can we see this second law demonstrating? That everything is falling apart, either slowly or quickly, depending on the energy that is being transferred and consumed. The consumer that is taking the energy from the source will not be able to restore everything back to 100% efficiency. Do this long enough, the amount of usable energy over time becomes less and less, with unusable being more and more. So, if everything from your iPhone, to the environment, to the planet, to the sun, and a bunch of other things I'll let you think of, appears to be declining as time goes on, what makes creatures the exception? As we continue, all we do is consume more, waste more, yet provide less. Generations are demonstrating this effect all the time, so once again, to assume evolution might be a bit of wishful thinking, and to think billions of years could sustain this may be as well. Science would even indicate that at the end of all this, the universe would end in what is called heat death, as the universe is one giant closed system. Observably things are getting worse, not better, supporting science and even the Bible. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Hebrews 1 verses 10 to 11. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a garment. 